Good afternoon, everyone. Well, you can see I'm sitting in front of the bomb of light, hot saw head. It is a <clears throat> FBS 752. There's all your uh, info you need. 2300 pounds, 52 inch blade, 20 inch cut max. Straight through. Um, yeah, I'd be careful doing that. Uh, you can get yourself in trouble cutting something that big. <clears throat> Here's a fair size. It's probably six feet tall at least to the top. Um, this one did have the accumulator arm. We don't use it, so we took it off. Uh, it was kind of in the way for us or in the way for the boss. So we just removed it. No big deal. <clears throat> but I'll show you here how we change the blades. Or uh, blades. The teeth. You'll see. A new one there. Very easy. Just a uh, 3 8 bolt, 9 16 head. And pop that out and they pop right off. These are replaceable as well. These holders. Which is good. Uh, we run we run on high flow. So we're running uh, that Kubota. We'll max out at oh, 40 gallons. 40 gallons a minute. I believe. Uh, I think we have it just below that. 38 I think is what we set it at. <clears throat> um, so that's what we got it at. It works good. Works great for what we're doing. Um, you know cutting a lot of ash firewood and stuff you can we can do you can have a load in the bush sitting on the ground in a few hours three hours let's say cutting in the bush and i'm already skidding um we'll work a few areas and i will start uh with the other kubota and go in and start topping and cutting to length and marking logs out, saw logs out if it needs to be so it works really good for us <clears throat> um we haven't done any, you know, uh, select cut, so to say. Uh, we're more ash salvage we've used it for. No softwood plantations, but I think it would work really good in there. Um, we would use it <clears throat> if we got the chance in that, for sure. Um, you never know. Maybe we have some jobs coming up like that. But Anyway, I'll give you some footage on it. Um, got some drone footage and a few shots just being in there. It's kind of a pain to, you know, you got to stay back. Uh, it's dangerous to be near, and I didn't get any real close-ups, but <clears throat> I got a few short clips of that. I'll add on some old footage, older footage that I got <clears throat> when I had the GoPro mounted on the uh, Kubota itself. I think it turned out pretty good. So I'll add that in as well, so you get a good idea, but you'll, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get going in this. So, here it is. All right, guys. Here's that bunch of head. And just like the big boys, it's got these, uh, whatever they want to call them. Your, uh, okay. <clears throat> beaver teeth, whatever they call them. Got your teeth, they're replaceable. Um, 3 8 bolt, holds it in. You can rotate them and just uh, spin them. You can spin them, rotate them, or replace them. You can see, like, they can get chewed up. Hit stones, breaks them. Yeah, real easy to change.
Well, guys, hope you like that. Again, Bomalite Haas saw head. We like them. Bomalite makes a ton of stuff. Uh, we use their mower as well. Uh, the name, just because it says light in it, does not mean it is light. Uh, their stuff is built heavy. Uh, I can attest to that. I know their mower. I've had, I've hit a stump with the edge runner that has stopped me dead in the skid steer and zero damage to the mower zero damage to anything but zero damage to the mower so gives you a pretty good idea you know you can stop 11,000 pounds <clears throat> dead and uh, I'm just telling you how how it can be <clears throat> you know hitting in the grass mowing trails you're moving along nice and boom dead stop so but anyway you guys want to check them out i'll have some info down in the uh description there some links and stuff you can click uh and uh check it out anyway thanks for watching guys remember thumbs up leave a comment and if you like it hit that subscribe button up top thanks guys